हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अगेन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद बायोलॉजी क्लास इलेवेंथ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री किंगडम प्लांटे दिस इज द फिफ्थ लेक्चर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज किंगडम प्लांटे किंगडम प्लांटे फर्स्ट वी हैव स्टडीड द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ किंगडम प्लांटे किंगडम प्लांटे इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू कैटेगरीज that is cryptogams and phanerogams cryptogams are divided into three divisions that is thallophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta and phanerogams are divided into gymnosperms and angiosperms in this five divisions in our last four lectures we have studied the silent features of the division thallophyta bryophyta pteridophyta and gymnosperms in four lectures we have studied about this four divisions and the fifth division that is angiosperms is deleted for this academic year that is 2021 from your syllabus so we are not going to study about the angiosperms the silent features of the kingdom division angiosperms and the subdivisions of angiosperms that is dicotyledons and monocotyledons that part of the chapter is deleted okay so now let us move to the next part of the chapter that is plant life cycles and alternation of generations plant life cycle includes two phases that is sporophytic phase and gametophytic phase plant life cycle includes two phases two different phases that is sporophyte and gametophyte sporophyte phase is diploid which is shown by 2n and gametophyte phase is haploid and that is shown by single n some special diploid cells of sporophyte divide by meiosis to form haploid cells okay some special cells of sporophyte undergoes meiosis to form haploid cells sorry this haploid cells then undergoes mitosis and forms haploid gametophyte getting it students sporophyte is undergoing meiosis and it forms haploid cells and this haploid cells undergoes mitosis and forms haploid gametophyte the gametophyte produces gametes that is male gamete and female gamete which fertilizes with opposite gamete to form diploid sporophyte gametophyte produces male and female gamete which fertilize with each other and forms diploid sporophyte okay the sporophytic and gametophytic generations occur alternatively in the life cycles of a plant and hence this process is called as alternation of generation that means one time there will be sporophytic generation and after that there will be gametophytic generation from sporophyte gametophyte is produced and from gametophyte sporophytes are produced okay you have seen sporophyte is undergoing meiosis and forms haploid cells this haploid cells undergoes mitosis and forms haploid gametophyte that means from sporophyte gametophyte is formed and this gametophyte produces gametes that is male and female gamete which fertilizes together and form diploid sporophyte that means sporophyte gives rise to gametophyte and gametophyte gives rise to sporophyte and once there will be sporophytic generation a second time there will be gametophytic generation and this will occur alternatively in the life cycle of a plant hence a life cycle of the plants this phenomenon of the life cycle of the plants is known as alternation of generation there are distinct alternation of generation observed in bryophytes and pteridophytes in gymnosperms and angiosperms gametophyte is much reduced and occurs inside the sporophyte in the gymnosperms and angiosperms gametophyte is reduced that means it is smaller and occurs inside the sporophyte in algae the life cycle 
is called as haplontic diplontic or haplodiplontic okay in algae based upon the nature of dominant phase in life cycle it is called as haplontic diplontic or haplodiplontic life cycle we will study now what is haplontic diplontic and haplodiplontic okay before that let us see what happens in bryophytes in bryophytes haploid gametophyte is dominant it is photosynthetic that means it prepares its own food material independent since it prepares its own food material it does not depend on any other organism any other thing so it is independent thalloid or erect phase sporophyte is short short leaved multicellular and depends totally or partially on gametophyte for nutrition and encourage okay so bryophytes in bryophytes the gametophyte is dominant and sporophyte is recessive that means sporophyte depends upon gametophyte okay whereas in pteridophytes sporophyte is dominant okay independent and vascular plant it shows vascular plant body and haploid multicellular gametophyte is generally autotrophic and short lived it alternates with sporophyte so bryophytes and pteridophytes so there are different cases in one the gametophyte is dominant whereas in another sporophyte is dominant okay so same it is known as alternation of generation now let us see what is meant by diplontic haplontic and haplodiplontic life cycles okay types of life cycles first one is diplontic what do you mean by diplontic here mitotic division occurs only in diploid cell mitosis you all know means division of cell in which from one cell two will be formed okay two daughter cells will be formed so here mitotic division occurs only in diploid cells gametes formed through meiosis are haploid in nature and the diploid zygote that divides mitotically and produce multicellular diploid organism okay the diploid zygote divides mitotically and in this process production of multicellular diploid organism or in the production of many diploid single cells takes place examples for such kind of diplontic life cycles are animals such type of life cycles occurs in animals means first mitotic division is going to occur then gametes will be formed through meiosis and lastly zygote will be dividing mitotically mm -hmm. to produce multicellular organisms diploid organisms okay next is haplodiplontic here mitosis occurs in haploid cells then it results in the formation of single haploid cell or a multicellular haploid organism this forms produce the gametes through mitosis zygote is the only diploid cell in the entire life cycle of the organism thus the same zygotic cell later undergoes meiosis okay an example for such type of life cycles is algae and fungi that means first mitosis occurs in haploid cells which results in the formation of single haploid cell and multicellular haploid organism which produces the gametes through meiosis and then later zygote is the only cell that remains in the entire life cycle of the organism thus the same zygotic cell undergoes meiosis example algae and fungi next one is haplodiplontic okay before we have studied about haplontic now let us study haplodiplontic first we have studied diplontic means diploid haplontic means haploid cells mitosis will occur in haploid cells Here in haplodiplontic mitosis occurs in both diploid and haploid cells. These organisms undergo through a phase in which they are multicellular and haploid. That is the gametophyte. And the phase in which they are multicellular and diploid 
the sporophyte. Example for such type of life cycles are land plants in many L and and in many algae. Both haplo diplontic life cycle. It occurs in both haplontic cells and diploid cells. These organisms undergoes through the phase in which they are multicellular and haploid and a phase in which they are multicellular and diploid. They are occurring as both haploid as well as diploid. And such type of life cycles are called as haplodiplontic life cycles. So, students, here we complete this chapter that is the third chapter, Kingdom Plantae. So, we have completed this chapter completely. We entirely we have studied this chapter except a small part of the chapter that is angiosperms because it is deleted. So, we have not studied that. Otherwise, our full chapter we have studied. Just make a note of this chapter in your notebook. Write it and make a note of the important points and then start studying your chapter. Next lecture we will meet now. Okay, we will meet in our next lecture with a new chapter. Thank you for today.